Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda. And I am very excited you joined us today. We have an amazing recipe for you. What do we have? Today we have apricot pinwheel cookies. Except they're not really cookies, are they? Well, I don't know why I put cookie on there because these are more like a pastry. Um, I've traveled quite a bit in Europe. Let's just give me my iPad here. Um, I've traveled quite a bit in Europe and I love the pastry shops in Europe. So I would find myself going every town I would visit and stuff. I'd find their, you know, um, uh, patisserie, you know, or pastry shop. And I would love to sample their little, you know, delicate pastries. And they have this one over there that I saw in it. And so the dough really isn't like a cookie dough. It's more like a pastry. So it really should say apricot pinwheels. And, and, that, and leave it off the cookie. Because if you think of a cookie, uh, I think you would be like, hmm, that doesn't taste like a cookie, right? It's yeah. more like a pastry. So come on up here. I want to introduce someone to you. I have Jordan with me today. Jordan, uh, you look right in there and tell everybody hello. Hello. Okay, and, um, and how old are you? I am 10 years old. 10 years old. And what, um, what grade are you in school? I'm in fourth grade. Uh, can you want to tell everybody how um, what ha how I came to your class recently? Oh yeah, so Miss Brenda. Miss Brenda. <laughs> she yeah. Some came. people don't know whether to say Mrs. Walsh, so I know he's a very polite boy. He was struggling, I think, but she, you can call me Miss Brenda. <laughs> okay, she came to our classroom and she told us a story, and she gave us all like these balls, hacky sack hacky balls. Hacky sack balls, uh huh. And some of my friends learned how to use them. But wow, they I'd, should send us a little video of them using and we'll put it yeah. on our we'll, we'll put it on our website. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Why don't, why don't you do that and uh, and okay. we'll put it on the website. That'd be wouldn't you like to have see we have um, Kids Club for Jesus hacky sack balls. Mm -hmm. And um, so I I gave everyone in this classroom do you remember the story I told? Wasn't it about like a dog? Oh yeah, there was a dog that you guys went to a pound and you were so scared of the dogs you wanted to go <laughs> in a whole different car. <laughs> That was Maxwell, our kid's uh, time dog. And in fact, in my Bedtime Stories, Volume 1, you can read that story, Maxwell, the kid's time dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he turned out to be such a blessing. He's, he's no longer with us. Uh, um, but we have a new uh, dog for our Kids Club for Jesus and Teddy Bear. Mm -hmm. And so Teddy Bear is on our lives on Sabbath programs. So if you want to see Teddy Bear, join us every Sabbath at 5.30 live for our praise and worship program. I'm at the piano. We have a musical uh, guest that's with us to sing the songs and we're singing your favorites. You know, you get to type in your favorite songs. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to get you over here. Do you want to read the recipe for him? Sure. You, the recipe is on our website. Go to kidsclubforjesus.org and you can, um, so you don't, you don't have to write it down now if you don't want to, but I will let Jordan go ahead and read it to you. And um, while he's reading it to you, I'll look at some of the comments and we'll start telling people hello, okay? Okay. So for our apricot pinwheels, so cross that right off and just say apricot pinwheels, okay? Okay. So the first ingredient, you need four cups of all-purpose flour. The second ingredient, you need a cup of sugar. The third ingredient, you need one tablespoon of baking powder. The next ingredient, you need one teaspoon of salt. The next ingredient, you need two tablespoons of cornstarch, and the next one is one and a half cups of vegan margarine or, um, butter, and then you need one tablespoon of canola oil, one and a half cups of almond milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then the filling, you need three cups of apricots, a fourth cup of sugar, one and a half cups of walnuts chopped, Chopped, mm -hmm. yeah, and then mm -hmm. one and a half cups of water, one teaspoon of vanilla. The icing, which is optional, you can do, for the icing, you can do one cup of powdered sugar, three teaspoons of almond milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of vegan margarine softened. Softened. You did a really good job. Didn't he do a good job? I'm very proud of you. I, I, you sound like a professional. Well, let's let's greet some of our viewers right now. You want to say hi to uh, Mish, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. And we have Carolyn Walker is joining us. And you guys, when you uh, write in, be sure and tell us where you're from, okay? And also, if you have any questions about anything, 
go ahead and type them in. We'll get your questions answered too. And if I miss something, Melissa Hoffman, our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus, is right behind the cameras and she's going to let me know if I miss something, okay? So, um, and so we have Micah and Michaela from Long Beach, California. I want to say hello to Micah and Michaela. Hello, Micah and Michaela. And oh, Miss Gwen is watching um, from Nashville, Tennessee. You want to say hi to Miss Gwen? Hi, Miss Gwen. Hey, Gwen. And then Mary Guy is watching from Northern Michigan. Hello, Mary. And then uh, uh, Anna is watching from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hello, Anna. And our good friend Pamela Morgan's here. Hello, Pamela. And she's from Jamaica. And um, then Teresa is watching. Where are you from, Teresa? Let me know. And, um, and Gwen says, hi, Jordan and Brenda. She's from Hendersonville, Tennessee. I said Nashville, but you know, it's kind of the Nashville area. It's like when I used to live um, in Boston, Massachusetts. I actually lived in a suburb called, uh, called Bolton, but nobody ever knows where Bolton is. So I would always say, oh, I'm from Boston, you know? <laughs> I bet you get that a lot, Gwen, right? All right, so um, we have Henny Joan Dupree is watching. You want to say hi to Henny Joan? Hello, Henny Joan. And say hi to... Maxine? Uh-huh. Hello, Maxine. And um, where are you from, Maxine? And then we have, um, uh, and Gwen says you did a good job. Uh, thank and, you. And Carolyn is from Wisconsin. So we're, we're so glad that you guys joined us, and we're going to get right into this recipe today because we have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. But you sampled those cookies ahead of time. What did you think? I said oh, cookies again. Oh, they were again. really Pastry. good. Yeah. You liked them? Yeah. Well, you're going to find how easy it is to make. Um, these uh, pinwheel pastries. What I did for the filling, so I'm gonna just let you know we're skipping that part, is it takes a while to cook down those apricots. And I really recommend that you chop your um, apricots really fine before you cook them down. And, and you cook the apricots first, and when it's all thickened down, then you add the walnuts. Don't add them all at the same time. And I tried an experiment yesterday, mm -hmm. which didn't work. <laughs> You ever have those flops in the kitchen? I decided, you know, oh, I think I could skip these this step with these apricots. I could just put them in whole. They're going to cook down to mush anyway. Well, guess what? They did not cook down to mush. <laughs> they were still whole. They were they were they were cooked, but still whole. So I I used my immersion blender in there to get them, you know, more of a pasty. And uh, if if I have if I would have not skipped that step. I could have just, I wouldn't have had to use the immersion, the immersion blender. So mm -hmm. um, it's not like anything bad's going to happen. It wasn't a flop or anything, but it's, I probably won't do that again. <laughs> I would just go ahead and do the chopping and uh, be done with it. So I, I reduced that down. I just thought it has um, some sugar in it. And, um, and so let's see, for our apricots, we have sugar, walnuts, water, and vanilla. Add your vanilla and walnuts after it's all cooked down to like a paste. And then you add the walnuts. And so I had to do that ahead of time because of the length of time that it takes to cook that filling. Mm -hmm. So it is done and it's ready. And I need to bring out, well, in a minute, um, let's bring make our dough here. And then I'm going to bring out one from the refrigerator. I didn't bring it out ahead of time because it has to stay cold, really cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to, this is our flour in here. We have our four cups of flour. And Jordan, will you add our sugar? Okay. Cornstarch. And with these are gonna be, uh, this is a vegan version that I'm dem demonstrating today. Um, and we can put a, do we have one online, Melissa, for um, a regular? We have a, a regular vegetarian version and a vegan version. This is the vegan version that I'm um, doing today. Here, you might wanna take this to help you get that out. Nice. And um, you, and, and if you want the other, you can. But it is a, um, there are some margarines that you can buy that are vegan margarines that say for baking. And this, it does really well. It, it does really well. So let's put this over here. Okay, now I put our salt in there and our baking powder. And let's just whisk that up together here. And you can just mix that up in, with that. Good job. I bet you're a good helper to your mom at home, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to take my oil and put it right in here with my almond milk so that um, all my um, wet ingredients go in all at once. 
Yes, you want to move this here for you? Okay. And we're also going to put our two teaspoons of vanilla in here as well. Is that good and mixed over there? So here's our two teaspoons of vanilla. I never measure vanilla accurately because who cares if you get a little more vanilla? It's good, right? Yeah. So, can't go wrong. Whoops. Can't go wrong there. <laughs> I, have, I have a little plastic little sink over here. Okay, and then I'm going to get a fork. And Jordan, I want you, now we're going to just put this over here to the side. And I'm going to have you go like this, like okay. a mixer. Can you do that? What you're going to, yep, just do that, yep, really fast. You're going to just emulsify that oil into that almond milk. Okay. Okay. And it looks like you did a really good job. Okay. Now, take this and make a hole in the middle of your flour. Let's put our our bowl back here. Let me get this out of here for you. Like a hole or like yeah. no uh -huh. flour? Uh-huh. Well, actually, we don't have to do a hole yet. I, I, I need to not skip this step. It's important. Um, you, we need to put all of this in there first. Okay. And then you're going to cut it up with a pastry blender. I got it for you. So you can just... Okay. And what you're going to do is go like this, go on the end of it, and you're just going to, oh, okay. we want to have little pea-sized pieces. So just go ahead and start chopping that. Can Is that a good spot, Melissa, for everyone to see? All right, so just keep, and to do it, just go all the way down to the bowl to the bottom, and it cuts it, you see? Oh. Yeah, it's like little blades on the end, and it just cuts it. Yep, that's good. Yeah, Melissa was saying you can always grate your butter ahead of time. And that is true, but you have to freeze it for it to be, uh, to, to grate good. And if you don't freeze it, you got a mess. You know, so I'll try to help you out here with. Yeah, thanks. Uh-huh. Okay, tell me what you need. And then I keep making sure I get lots of flour in there because it's easier to get it cut into pieces with flour. And this is the most... Here, I'm going to let you do this, too, because you can, okay. you know what you're doing here. Look at him. He's, he's, he's a little pro. I bet you've done this. Have you ever used a pastry um, cutter before? I think maybe once or twice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do you want to be when you grow up, Jordan? Me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> maybe a doctor. Mm-hmm. I don't know for sure, but probably. Both your parents are doctors. Oh, that. My mom's a dentist. <laughs> That's a doctor. I guess. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, that, that you, you you probably, you know, get a little influence from, from having that kind of background. Would you want to be a medical doctor or a dentist? Me? I'd, I don't know. I think I'd actually rather be a dentist. A dentist? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's looking at mom over there. Mom's behind the camera, so stop looking at mom. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing a really good job. Let me help you hold the bowl while you Thanks. Yeah. Make it a little easier for you here. What's your favorite sport? Me? Mm-hmm. Probably football and soccer. Uh that's two. Soccer. But soccer, if that was one. So if I was to ask you to tell me something about yourself, what would you say? Like if you if someone was describing who you are, who is Jordan, what would you say? I would say that I like to um, do like front flips and stuff. That's fun. But but what would you? How would you describe yourself? Mm, I like tumbling. Not the things you like to do. How describing yourself? Like what would you say about? Would I'm they say, fun. Yeah, you're fun. See, that's good. That's the, that's what I'm looking for. You're fun. What else? Uh, I'm funny. And you, well, you're fun and funny. Okay. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you like to tell jokes? Yeah. Why'd and play jokes? Why did the tomato turn red? What? Why did the tomato turn red? I don't know. Because he saw the salad dressing. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so you got a lot of knock-knock jokes or, you know, things. I bet you, are you the class clown? No? <laughs> no. No. You're not known as the one that makes everybody laugh? No, that's a different kid in my class. Oh, really? Okay, let's look and check to see. I think you might have done a really good job here. We might be good right like that. Yes, you have. Look at, see, all, this is perfect. See all these pea-sized pieces that he's put in here, just little tiny 
Um, uh, can you see that, Melissa? Let's put this in here. Yeah, if you just could scoot it maybe more towards the center, so. Like that? And then give it a, a little fluff with your spatula so you can see. Yeah, okay. Okay, like that? Mm -hmm. You can see all those little pieces? Okay, now we're gonna make the well in the middle, okay? Okay. That would have been really bad if I had skipped that step. <laughs> We'd have had to start over, you know? And trust me, you know what? I, even the most experienced chef makes mistakes, so a okay, little grace and mercy. Okay, a little hole. Yep, there's a good hole. Okay, now I want you to take and pour all of that into there. Perfect, and I want you to get your gloves on. Okay. We got our gloves. And I'm gonna put my gloves on too, because now we're going to mix this together until it forms a ball, okay? And like a, a just a firm dough. Oh, I have an extra one. Yeah, next extra, okay, we'll put that over here in my pocket. Oh. Okay, so you can take this big spatula and start mixing it together. Yep, and make sure all the ingredients stay in the bowl. Okay, <laughs> that kind of helps, right? <laughs> yeah. You're doing a good job doing that, I'm impressed. Yep, and that's a lot of dough to be moving around. I mean, there's four cups of flour in there. So this dough, when you when we when we uh, finish, is going to be cut in half, and you you will roll it out on um, a cutting board. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Wow, this is hard. You want me to try? Okay. You're you're right. It is. It <laughs> it takes a little muscle. I've been doing this, you know enough times well of course i started kneading my own bread when i was um eight years old making my own bread every week wow so i know that it's and um i just want to um say a shout out to my own mama hi mama for watching us today and um she's now in michigan with my brother ken for the summer helping out at camp Asabo. and i miss you mom terribly so i'm she'll be back with me in the in the fall Okay, so now when it gets to this point, can you, maybe you can hold the bowl that, okay. like that, that's really good. Okay, so can you see how it's forming a uh, bowl? Is this a bowl that's in the right, right spot, Melissa? Okay, so let me show you. Oh, it feels really good too. So I'm now I'm just scooping it together, kneading it just a little, just gently, not, not heavy, not like you do bread. You want to just knead it gently. And there's still a little dry over here. And let's see, now we're going to, okay, this is looking really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a nice, can you see what that dough looks like? Yep. And I'll just clean the sides of the bowl with it. See how I'm just cleaning the sides? Mm -hmm. All right, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, can you make that into the shape of a brick? A brick? Yeah, make it into a shape of a brick, and then we're gonna cut it in two, and I'm gonna show you what we do, um, because it has to be in a refrigerator, all rolled out on the cutting board, um, or a cookie sheet, and you put it in your refrigerator for eight hours or overnight. So I already have one in the refrigerator that I'll get out while you're shaping that. And then I want you to, to, I want you to judge what the middle is and cut it right down the middle, okay? So let me take this pair of gloves off and let me get our, right here, because this is what that looks like, hold on. And, okay, so you got it, you have it right yep. down the middle? Okay, good deal. All right, so Keep what we're going here. to do um, yeah, you can just put it there right now. I'm going to um, use this cutting board for this one, and then we'll show you how we're, what we're going to do with this in a minute. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff to be <laughs> finagling around here. Okay, so this is this um, this needs to be rolled out. This is what we're going to actually work with. But we're going to take saran wrap. I don't know if anybody has ever used this. I love this thing. It's called a, a wrap, st stretch tight wrap and snap. 
um, $7,500. Um, I, I got it on Amazon, but I love it because I can take and just, let me just share this. You wanna hold this for me a minute? If I pull this out here and push down, it cuts it for me. Isn't that awesome? All right, so now we've got one there. We, we, let me put this here. We'll use another piece in a minute. And we're going to take this because now we just did this. Can I now, um, no, you'll want your gloves on for a while because of. Um, we need another piece of saran wrap. So you got one on the bottom. This is important. Don't skip that one. And then one on the top. Okay, let me put this over here. And let me give you a rolling pin. And we want to make this into a rectangle like this. It's, okay. See, it's about a, a fourth an inch to half, to half an inch thick, about a fourth of an inch, really. Cool. And you want it to cover, you want it to go the shape of this mm -hmm. here, about this size, okay? Good I job. Yeah, you're doing a good job. We won't roll both of them out. We'll do that later. So, you're doing a good job. Very proud of you, isn't he? Let's see if we got any more comments here. I need to any questions from anybody. Um, let's see, Maxine is watching, and Maxine, where are you from? And we have, um, let's see. Uh, Oh, Carrie Downing is watching, and she says, Hi, Brenda and Jordan. I hope you have a good show. You're making me hungry. Oh, you are going to want to try this. Really, you are. And it's not an overly sweet pastry either. Um, it's just so satisfying because the sweetness is really, there's not a lot of sugar in the recipe. Oh, uh, right here. Oh, it's okay. You want me to help you? Okay, hold on one second. And this is what happened. See, a little bit got uncovered. Well, we need to keep it covered or it won't roll out nice. So what you do is... is we are just we just cover it back up like that and keep this underneath it because that's really important and we'll put that on top oops there you go okay yeah and pull that over there yep and then when you when you um yeah and see how good he's just rolling that out like that so we'll let we'll let you finish that later because you guys get the idea and I've got the next one already ready, so let me put this over here. And oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need um, we need this, but let's see. This is already cold, and I just have an extra one in here, so you don't need that. We're gonna use this one. All right, this has already been. I made this last night, so it's in the refrigerator all this time, nice and cold. And can you just take the top one, peel it back close to it, not up above like that. Yes. Yeah. See how nice it will come off if you do that? There we go. Yeah. Take that. And I'm going to show you a little trick. So this is our filling. And you're going to put, a, what I would suggest doing is, let me just get this out of here. I suggest putting just a little bit, um, on um, in, in spots, it'll be easier. Like if you just take a little bit and you put here and take a little bit more and put over here. Okay. If you dot it around, it'll be easier to spread. Okay. Um, so let's do that. I'm gonna put this, is this a good spot, Melissa? Okay. And he's going to just now just dot that around and I'll start trying to spread it here when you're giving me the dots, okay? And you're just gonna go to the edges. You know, you want it on the edges as well. Otherwise, you'll have some part of your pastry that won't have any filling. Now, the wonderful thing about this recipe, let's say you tell me you don't like apricots. You can literally use any filling that you want in here. I boil down dates and use a date filling, and that's amazing. Uh, this with pecans is also good. Um, I've done cherry, raspberry. You can even put your favorite jam in there, and it's absolutely delicious. This smells really good. Yep, it's, well, you already had one of the cookies, so you, I mean, see, I keep calling them cookies, but it's not, it's a pastry. Um, uh, you already had one, so uh, you, not, you, you, you have an advantage, you already know what it tastes like, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. 
we're going to send some home for your dad to try too, okay? Because your, your mom's here, but your dad didn't get to go to home. So I think you should take him some, don't you? Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. So. Should I put more over on this side? Yep, I, I'll switch the sides over here. How's that? Okay. And I'll just keep trying to get it good to the end. And then if you're wondering, huh? <laughs> See that? I told you I had a whole apricot. There's still one there. I didn't get it. It won't hurt anything, but that's why you want to chop those apricots. That's a really good idea. I took. Sometimes you can try a shortcut, and it's, it's good, and it's a good find. And you go, oh, yeah, that's a good shortcut to use. This one just didn't work out that way. So oh, You're doing so good, Jordan. Thank you. Yep, how about some in this corner over here? Okay. Yep. And over in this corner right there. Okay. Yep. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah. We don't want to lose it, do we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So while you're doing that, you're almost done. I'm going to get my gloves back on. And let's see here. I like to keep, wear gloves because I really like things clean. I, I, you can... I used to, I'm an RN and I used to work surgery where I had to do 10 minute scrubs, you know, for before surgery, before I scrubbed in. And I know that you would have to just keep scrub, 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 especially for bone cases, uh, because germs can, even if you just casually wash your hands, germs are still there. And because uh, it's really the friction of washing your hands with the soap that the soap causes the germs to go away. So it's, I, I use these for everything. I keep a box in my kitchen and you can see they fit. Uh, I get them at Sam's Wholesale Club. I don't know where where you guys have those, but I yes. get them and they are wonderful to use. They're good. Okay, I think you I think you did an awesome job. I think give yourself a hand. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's see, Renee's watching. Hello, Renee, and Denver Nelson is watching. You want to say hi to Denver? Hello, Denver. And uh, so and Carrie wanted us to know she lives in Las Vegas, and so we're glad you joined us today, Carrie. Um, and Max Ramirez, hello Max, it's good to uh, have you join us today. And um, let's see here, now we're going to do the fun part. Okay. You see I have this here for a reason. Can you see that, Melissa? I need to be where they can see me roll. Okay. I'm going to use this. I'm going to just gently, you can start doing it on this side like that. Okay. We're going to make a really tight roll right here. Because if we don't, so you kind of lift it up and over. Okay. You got to get it started right the first time. And it's got to be like if you were rolling it up really oh, tight, okay? Because okay? we want to roll. And now you go with that side, and I'll go here. And we just are going to keep rolling that up. And you can do like this so that you don't make a dent in the dough. Okay. See how I'm pushing like this? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And if you have any problems, guess what this does? that you hold this up and it kind of helps helps it along okay just like that and um, let's go okay here we go now we're going to throw that away and look at this so i sealed these edges can you see this yeah i sealed the edges there just go ahead and like just gently just seal them like that okay and now you get to see what we're going to do, okay? We're going to get our, our baking pan. And I use a sill pat um, for all my uh, cookies or baked goods. I even use a sill pat when I'm making veggie burgers in the oven. You know, they are wonderful. You don't have to grease your pan at all. You just put the sill pat in there. And with this recipe, um, you do need a serrated knife. Without a serrated knife, um, you will push it down. It won't stay in the shape of a, it's a real soft, tender dough. So if you don't have a serrated knife, it won't stay the shape of a circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to go a half an inch and I'm going to put them in here for you. And you, you can, if you see like over here, I kind of, if, if I pushed it together, I kind of make it into a nice circle. So see right over here, you can mm -hmm. just gently pat it into okay. place like that and I will give you another one over here and you want to get make sure that they're uh, at least an inch apart you need to just tap that one over here where see where it's a little edge is needed and because it will spread just a little not doesn't spread a whole lot but 
it does spread some see like that you have to just touch and then make sure it's a circle and this dough is so tender that you you really have to handle it very very gently okay so you just keep on doing like that and and I'll put them here and um, I get I get it um, let's see I think I get nine on a pan is what I get for here and and then you just tap those edges so there we do that we keep doing that that you you've learned how to do that now so now you're going to um, that th when you roll out that dough you're gonna cover it in plastic wrap put it in your refrigerator overnight okay then when you see what we did just now bring it out and put our filling on roll it up cut it like this and then we're going to bake it at 350 for approximately 15 minutes or until the bottom is golden and let me put this over here um, because we have some here that need to be frosted and I have some that uh, are already frosted but I thought we'd just have some here and if I think maybe um, Jordan I'll have you turn over a couple of them so they can see the bottom so they um, know what the color is to look like okay, okay. uh-huh sure you, actually, you can just lay it on the plate right there and they can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be, you will have, see where that, where it is dark? That's, that's not burned. That's from the apricots. So, but you, I, what I want you to see is the edges. See how nice and golden they are? Yeah. So now you can turn it back over because now we're going to make our icing. And you, if you don't like icing or you, you want things that aren't very sweet at all, um, you don't have to use it. It's optional. But I like it. I I enjoy it. So, yeah, let's put this here because we're going to need to put the icing on it, okay? So, I'm going to put this back. So, I'll make this um, after the program for people who want it. Um, what I'd like to do now is go ahead and put your um, butter in here. And okay. let me just do this right There's here. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'll give you something to put it in there with. Hold on. And, all right, go ahead and put that in there. Okay, let's scooch this over here. Is that better? Okay. You were really good in the kitchen, Jordan. Thanks. Okay, so now let's put it over here. And let's put our sugar in. And you can use, um, I, it calls for a fourth a cup. Sometimes I, I like my dough a little bit sweeter, so I will add a third a cup. Um, just it's but it's totally up to you if you're wanting to avoid the sugar and now mm -hmm. we're just going to toss this a little bit and then then once you toss all the sugar into the um, this yeah. is powdered sugar in here powdered sugar one tablespoon of vegan margarine and um, is and that I, good pardon me I think I think this is good is it let's see Yep, that's good. Well, yep, and now I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to put in one teaspoon of vanilla. And since, you know, I'm not measuring, there you go. And now mix that up. Okay. And you want this a little bit um, runny. You don't want this a real firm frosting because it's a drizzle. You want it to like, be like a glaze. And um, let me put over here when you... Yep, you can just mix it up like that. You're doing a good job. Okay. Yep. Very good. Want me to help you do it just a little bit more here? Here. Yep. And you're just going to. Okay, <laughs> I just realized I did something that I shouldn't have done, but it's, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything, but um, especially you do this glaze when it comes out of the oven while it's hot, uh, but sugar wasn't supposed to go in here. It's all powdered sugar, so I wasn't supposed to, that, that sugar was over there for the filling, and that, which I didn't make. <laughs> Mel's just really laughing at that one. So, yeah. If, if she could, she's been with me in ministry for 13 years, and she could write a book about all my blunders, trust me. You know, especially the bloopers and the blooper roll, you know. So, yes, I, she, 
Sometimes when I would be taping um, kids' time shows, and at the end of the show, do you know what I say at the at the end of every program? Remember, boys and girls, it's kids' time to share Jesus. And so I was doing those raps. I was doing sharing time, and I was ending each program with that. And you know, it was kind of at the end of the day, and I was tired. So I we got through the whole program, and I went, "May all your meals be seasoned with God's love." And so. I, and everybody just cracked up laughing, cut! <laughs> we had to do an edit. <laughs> See, so I got lots of those blooper blunders, but this one's not a bad one because it's not necessarily going to be... Let's, let's put the rest of this um, powdered sugar in here as well. Okay. And it's not a, not a bad thing, so it's not going to hurt anything, especially over a hot... You know, so what you're going to take and do is... is um, I'm going to give you a spoon and... What you're going to do is go in a circle, and I start on the outside, and I'm mm -hmm. I don't cover the apricot, only cover the dough part, okay? Okay. And um, and like then mm-hmm, yeah. And go on the outside and and swirl it around. Yep. Keep going all the way around in. Good job. Yep. All the way. Just follow the swirl. Yep. And of course, if you want to do something different, you can. You can deck. You can you know, glaze it anyway. If you want to just do a drizzle or, um, you know, or, or even, you know, with a knife, just put it over there and let it melt the whole thing. You can do that too. It doesn't matter. It, you might want to okay. So I got some comments. Okay. Let's see. Any, any questions so far? I know this is like a lot of steps, but it's really not that hard to make. It's really easy. So let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. Gotta scroll down. Angie Sanchez is watching. Hello, Angie. And Amy Lindquist is watching. And Damaris um, is watching. And Renee Clayton. Um, hi from Olivia. Hello, Olivia. And let's see. We also have. Um, uh, oh, Geneva um, says Jordan. Grandma is very proud of you. Miss Brenda, you're an excellent teacher. Oh, <laughs> is that your grandma? What do you say to her? Thank you. <laughs> well, say hi, Grandma. Tell her how much hi. you love her. You know, I'm a grandma. I know I want to hear that. So to go ahead and tell her. Hi, Grandma. Today I'm making cookies. No, pastry. Oh, pastries. Yeah, yeah, pastries. These I called it cookies. Pastries. That's my fault. Yeah. But, but tell her you love her. Yeah, oh, it. I love you, Grandma. Yes. See, Grandmas <laughs> want to hear this, right? Am I not, am I not to tell you the truth? We like to hear it. Oh, there she is. My, my grandsons are... Uh, my oldest one is 21 and um, my youngest one is going to be 16 and if to this day if I say whose boys are you they'll say grandma's boys you know that those are my boys all right so um, let's see we have um, Bonnie is watching hello Bonnie and Matthew is watching hello Matthew and my mom mom I love you so much I miss you terribly and uh and let's see, Amy is saying a good job. And uh, Jonathan, um, uh, do you know this person? Oh, yeah, that's my dad. Oh, well, then say hi. Hi, Daddy. Tell him you're going to bring him a cookie. Oh, I'm going to bring you a cookie today. Yes, you're, you're going to want one of these cookies. And then uh, Sylvia is also saying hi. So you want to say hi to Sylvia? Hi, Sylvia. Did I miss anybody, Melissa? And Bradley's watching too. Hello, so there Bradley. you go. You see that. But now we want to show you the finished one right here. And um, and this, you can take your gloves off now, okay. and you get to sample one. Look right in that camera, and okay. you get to take a cookie off of that plate. Oops. And I'll throw those away for you. Okay. You get to take one out of those plate, and you get. Don't look over here. Look at the camera okay. in there, right? And I just eat it. And you take a big bite and say what you think. You see, his mama has taught him. She's, he's got manners. He is not supposed to talk with his mouth full, right? <laughs> has your mom ever told you that? No? <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. So would you encourage everyone to try it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, I am really glad that you came and were with me today, Jordan. You are a natural in the kitchen. Will you come back and cook with me again? Sure. I, I I love it when I have somebody that 
that can talk to me and isn't shy. And he's not shy. <laughs> you're very comfortable in front of a camera. Have you been in, on TV before? No? Well, you look like you're very, very comfortable. Well, next week we are having, what are we having, Melissa? We need to talk about it. Oh, she's got, she's got some questions about the, what were these. So we're going to announce what we're going to make next week. But I also want to invite you to, I have a new um, uh, group on Facebook called Daily Scripture from Brenda Walsh Ministries. And if you, um, if you go there, we have a beautiful picture with scripture verse on it. And it's a wonderful way to share God's love you just, with, and God's word, holy word to other people in a very non-threatening way, beautiful way, just a scripture. And it's a different one every day. And you can go there and you can see just daily scripture from Brenda Walsh Ministries. And we are almost at 10,000 members. Isn't that awesome? Literally from all over the world. So go ahead and, and check that out. Also, I want to invite you to check out our website, kidsclubforjesus.org, our Kids Club um, for Jesus Studio and Leadership Center, where uh, we are providing Christ-centered programs for children, all on demand. They can watch what they want, when they want to watch it. So go to our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. Also on our website, you can get every recipe we've ever um, done on the program. We've been doing these for over a year now, for about a year now, a little over a year. Mm -hmm. And you, every recipe you can get right there on our website. So, did you have any questions about today's recipe or comments? No. Oh, comments? Yeah. It was really good. It was really good. <laughs> it's like, oh, but you, it was pretty easy to make, don't you think? Mm -hmm. It's like a, a couple of little steps, but mm -hmm. was it complicated? No. No, no. no. I, so, I, <laughs> would you encourage people to try it? Yeah. You should try it. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we will announce what we're going to be making uh, next week, um, but also I want to just invite you to join me every Sabbath at 5.30 for Praise and Worship. Uh, that you will find us live on Facebook on my Brenda Walsh Ministries page at 5.30 Eastern Time, and you can submit your favorite song requests, and I play them for you and on the piano, and we also have a musical guest that will be with us as well. So... Until next time, that's all the time we have. We run out of time. It went by so fast today, didn't it? Yeah. You want to help me say the goodbye? Remember, okay. boys and girls, it's, it's kids, kids' time to, to share Jesus. Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you, and have an awesome week.